What's up guys, RaylaTaliTeel really here and today I'm doing something a little different. Uh, my friend tagged me on Tumblr to do uh, the Niflheim accent challenge. So I'm doing it for her because I love her. I love you Sensei. So I need to say my name, RaylaTaliTeel, I wouldn't want to say my actual name, I'm sorry. Uh, I will leave a link to my Tumblr below. And I need to answer these questions. Number one, how did you find out about the Niflheim? What drew you to the series? I actually tried to play Destiny Ninja before, but I, I installed it after the first episode of the prologue because it didn't interest me at all. And then I was just on the Play Store after um, I think a few months. And I saw the new film and I said that really looks good and I downloaded it and I started playing and something about the art style and the story really drew me in. I, I just love uh, science fiction and all this thing, magic, love, romance and I get to date dead people. And not just dead people, handsome dead people. So yeah. I think that's what drew me into it. 2. Whose route did you start with? I started with this beautiful blonde guy, you all know who he is, Orlando. I actually wanted John's, uh, but uh, since they, well, I downloaded it on the date was released and there wasn't a John's. Um, Route. I didn't know actually that uh, they add characters as the game well develops. So I started with Orlando. Three. Who is your favorite character and why? My favorite character has to be King John. I don't know why, but the moment I laid my eyes on him, I was like, him. I want to date him. I don't even know why, but. For some reason, I always uh, am drawn to white-haired guys and red eyes. I have no idea why. And also, his uh, personality is really something that I find, uh, in a way, really attractive to me, but certainly not in real life. So I think that's why. Also, he is really cheerful and he is such a sweetheart and if any of you haven't played Jean's route, you should be, because it really touched my heart. 4. Who is your least favorite character and why? I'm sorry, but I will have to go with Skeletiano. I... it's not that I don't like Skeletiano, I just hate his route. It could have been way better, way, way better. But if we're talking about characters that don't appear in all, uh, in every world, then Beltran would have been my really hated character because he is such an ass. I mean, he, he just kind of forces himself uh, on the heroine like, yeah, I like you, you'll be my wife. And I'm like, just go away, please. You're just an asshole. And he's like, I was the god of death in life, so I should be the god of death in death. Makes sense, no? No. Five. Do you prefer the romantic endings or the mystical endings? Romantic endings, all the way. Even though that in some routes the mystical ones are way better. But mostly the romantic ones uh, speak to me more emotional in an emotional level. 6. If you could change one thing in a character route, what would you change, with whom and why? You obviously already know who I'm going to say. Skeletiano. Not only that his route was shorter in 5 chapters, but the storyline itself wasn't really that interesting to me. I mean, the story itself was, but how they put the information that uh, you get through wasn't really interesting, it was really confusing. And the love challenges was another something that I didn't like. 
there was items that I felt were forced uh, into the game. I don't buy premium items for love challenges, but I did feel like it, uh, they just wanted to make a route for Skeletiana on fan demand. I mean, I remember a part that uh, Heroine and Skeletiano were talking and there was a laugh challenge and then suddenly he talks about something else and it was really really confusing and I didn't like it I, I really believe that they could have done a way better job with Skeletiano's route 7. Do you want Sunny to have a route and how would you picture it in your mind? Um, Sunny? I actually never thought about Sunny having a route because she's so love invested in Victor but I think it would be interesting to have uh, Sunny as a route so yeah, why not? I would like her to have a route 8. Do you picture other p music with the Niflheim and if so, what? No the music for the Niflheim is perfectly matching the Sam and the characters and everything. I mean, if someone told me the Niflheim, I actually didn't know what the Niflheim is before. Uh, if someone told me the Niflheim is the land of the dead, I would think something depressive, scary. But the music itself is really calming, especially in the home uh, page. It really is. So no, I wouldn't change the music. Nine. What would you? What would be your perfect scene in the Niflheim? I need the wedding scene of Jean and the heroine. Uh, a little bit of spoiler. In the romantic ending, there isn't really a ceremony. You just rush into it. I would really love to see it because. Uh, Jean was trying to fall in love, to make her fall in love with him and then it's like it's so emotional they even had a war with another kingdom for her and then no ceremony I, I really really want to know how, how it would go like since it, it's really emotional and so much tense was before that and 10 Final thoughts on the game, anything to add? Overall this game is amazing, this is my favorite Shall We Date game, I play other ones but the Niflheim is seriously my favorite, I actually finished the game uh, not long ago, maybe a month ago, all the characters, all the endings and this is the game that will forever have a special place in my heart. So this is it, thank you so much for listening to me talking about my favorite game and thank you Sensei for tagging me in it. If you want to do it, just go to my Sensei's Tumblr, I'll leave the link down below and do this challenge. Hope you enjoyed this and see you in the next video, bye!